This is the CJSM2 and it's Curtis Wright's wheelchair controller uh, and I replaced the original joystick, this one here, uh, which is a more basic function joystick which only uh, enables you to kind of drive the chair and control actuators. But with this joystick I, it has built in infrared and also built in Bluetooth. So I can control a number of uh, infrared devices and a number of uh, Bluetooth devices and switch between them all uh, and control them all using uh, the joystick or uh, an alternative input if you have it connected. So to give you an example, uh, I'm going to start this up again. Um, pressing mode, I can change seat actuators, but I'm going to go into IR control. And I'm going to go down to music, which is I have it set up to control the music player there in front of me. I'm going to power that on. And it's just came on there, and I'm going to play the CD. So I can navigate this by deflecting the joysticks. And when I deflect to the right, uh, it actually selects that option. Sorry, the volume there. And now I'll show you the TV, so I'll, I'll turn that off. And then for the TV, scroll down to exit, uh, into TV. That's the power on that there. I also they can't get flat. You know, it's a different dynamic now. Mm -hmm. I see reader to return. Change the channel. Food or orange short supply. You can help provide life saving supplies. I'm going to show the, show the, uh, the Bluetooth now. So I'm going to change my source there. You can find your on the TV to uh, my HDMI port. Uh, I have uh, my laptop connected there and now I need to control my laptop so I need to go to the Bluetooth option there. So I have uh, two Bluetooth options set up here and now I could rename these here from the uh, from the programmer. Now the, the left and right click is on this uh, paddle switch here. But uh, yeah, there's alternative options to for the left and right click where you can set the joystick to control mouse click and right click. Or you could even have uh, uh, the likes of this application, uh, Dwell Clicker, which I have installed on the laptop as well at the moment. So it's quite easy to navigate around using the joystick. Now, to, uh, if I wanted to move over to another Bluetooth enabled device uh, like the phone which I have here, uh, I just change the mode here, Bluetooth, and go into that there. So we can have as much as uh, four Bluetooth devices uh, connected. So that could be uh, a PC, an Android device, which is I have here. Or you, we could have even iOS devices. So if I wanted to make a call here. Now 
etc. Or to go into any app. So a full functionality of the mobile phone here. So in terms of uh, the setup of this here, it was quite straightforward. It was just really replacing the joystick. Uh, like no programming uh, or configuration needed to be done uh, because uh, the once you replace the joystick, the the program is uh, is loaded up from the power module uh, into the joystick. Now that may depend on the manufacturer and the uh, model of the chair, but for this chair, which is an Autobox uh, B400, uh, it was quite straightforward. And then there's the the setting up of the infrared code, so the learning of using the original remotes uh, and learning uh, the, the required codes or buttons here into the uh, the CJSM2 and then it was um, for the Bluetooth it was just pairing uh, the, the Bluetooth devices 